Well, I for one was not expecting this. Wise has just released the Wise Cam version three. This is an indoor outdoor camera, shoots 1080p, has colored night vision and still comes in at their $20 price range. We're gonna be taking a look at the features and seeing what the demos look like. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Steve from the YouTube channel Steve Does and I wanna thank you for joining me here at reviews.org. So I have heard no chatter about this anywhere. All of a sudden, Wise releases the new Wise Cam version three. Now, not long ago, they just came out with the Wise Outdoor Cam and we even just looked at the Wise Cam version two just last month. But now we've got the version three here and I wanna take a look at what it offers. But if we take a look at the side of the box, it offers 1080p full HD video. We've got an IP65 weather rating, two-way audio, 24 seven recording. Now that is gonna be if you have a micro SD card in this camera. We've also got free cloud storage for 12 second clips. Not a fan of the 12 second clips, but you can fix that with either their Cam Plus subscription, which isn't that expensive, or you can get a micro SD card in this camera right here. We've also got recording options for motion and sound detection. We've got person detection, but that is going to require their Cam Plus subscription. We've also got full length motion recording. So that is also going to be a Cam Plus subscription feature. Recording lengths as long as you need it to be, not just those 12 seconds. And then we've also got colored night vision. And for a $20 camera, I am shocked and cannot wait to take a look at it. If we take a look at the box, you can see the images below of what the classic night vision and then also the colored night vision looks like, but we're gonna be testing that out a little bit later. Okay, now that we have seen some of the features of this camera, let's take a look at what comes in the box. All right, so here is everything that comes in the box. Here is the camera itself. We've got a slightly new look from the previous models. It's now rounded on the edges. I actually do like this look a lot more. It's got the same looking stand down here that does have a magnet built into it and a screw down here if you wanna screw that in. And then we've got the metal plate here. So you, if you do want to attach that to a wall or something, you can screw this into a wall or use the double-sided sticky tape here to stick that up. We've got a bag of screws and anchors, power brick and power cable. And then on the back here, if you notice, the power cable doesn't plug directly into the camera anymore. Instead, it comes out here and this is what is going to keep it weatherproof. So it's got this sleeve on it, you can plug it in there, and that is going to keep this thing weatherproof, which I really appreciate about that. Looks like we have our speakers on the back here, nothing underneath, looks like a screwdriver in case you need to loosen or tighten the stand there. And that is pretty much it. All right, so now that we've seen what comes in the box, let's get this thing set up. All right, setting up the camera is really easy to do. We're gonna load up the app here up in the top left corner. We're gonna click on the plus sign and then we're gonna click on add a device. From here, we're going to select the camera that we have. So from here, I'm gonna click on Wise Cam version three. We're gonna plug in the camera, which I've already done. It's gonna say you're gonna be looking for a flashing red light, which I do have on my camera right now. And then I'm just gonna follow all of the on-screen instructions, get this thing set up, and then we're gonna take a look at what some of the features are in the app. All right, we've got everything now set up in the app. I wanna show you guys some of the features of this camera. The first thing that you're probably gonna notice is that the latency on this camera is amazing. Pretty much every time I do something here, you're gonna notice it here on the screen on the camera and how fast it is. I absolutely love that about Wise cameras is that there is no lag time with the image that you're gonna be seeing on the camera right here. It's so different from any of the other cameras that I have tested. But if we take a look here at the app, we've got some options. We've got HD, which is above the picture. We've got our options to do HD, SD, or 360p. Those are gonna be your different image resolutions. I would recommend leaving it on HD. Across from that, up in the top right corner, we have got the little moon with auto that is going to be for turning your night vision on and off. So leaving night vision mode off and on, here are the different options right here that you can do. I've got it on right now, I've got it off right now, and then I've got it on auto. I'm gonna leave mine on auto. Below that, you can see we've got an option for sound, 
recording, so recording a clip. We've got the two-way audio, so you can hit the speaker for that. Taking a picture, or we can click on more. This is gonna bring up things like motion tracking, which you can see a green thing moving around on the screen. If I turn that off, that'll turn that green box off. We've got time lapse, so you can set up time lapses on here. You're just gonna pick a start and end time, and then what you want intervals to be. So you can go seconds, minutes, hours, and days. And I believe you can go all the way up to, oh my goodness, uh, I guess as far as you wanna go. Let's see how far this goes up. 400, 400 days, give me a break. Okay, but anyway, that is what you can set up with time lapse. I'm gonna go ahead and back out of there, go back to more. You can set up a siren, so this does have a built-in siren. Let's listen to that right now. So that is what the internal siren sounds like on this camera. And then we can turn the camera off right here too. I'm gonna close that. Up in the very top right corner, we've got a little gear icon that is going to bring us into the settings. So I just wanna hit on a couple of these. You can change the name. We've got event recording. These were both turned off by default. So I went ahead and I turned on detecting motion. So it will record when it detects motion. We've got our different notifications right here. You can turn those on and off. We've got our detection settings. So you can set up detection zones if you want it to just detect motion in certain zones. You can set that up right there. I'm gonna back out. We've got our alarm settings. So cool thing about these cameras is that they can pick up CO2 and smoke alarms. So if it hears any of those going off, you will get notified through the WISE app. Let's go ahead and back out of there. And then we've also got our advanced settings. So I do have an SD card in this camera right now which is why this top portion here is active for me to use. Otherwise it would be grayed out, but it says I have local recording. I have it set to continuous recording, so it's going to record 24 seven. You can set it up for just event-based recording. And then managing your SD card, you can just see how much room is left. If the card does get full, it will delete the oldest stuff first and then just keep recording. So you don't have to worry about getting the card full and no more recording, it'll just roll over. Night vision mode, so we've got auto, on, and off. So just a different way to do it. Night vision conditions, we have got dusk and dark, so depending on which one you like there. We've also got the night vision IR lights. So we've got a few different options here. We've got far, if you want the IR night vision to see something that is far away. We've also got the near option right here, which is going to see things a little bit closer. It's gonna have a different wavelength right there, and then you could just turn it off altogether. I'm gonna go ahead and keep mine on far. Back out of there. Going down here, we can see all of our other camera status, rotation, timestamps, logos, record sound. I'd recommend keeping that on if you wanna hear what's going on, and then sync time. Backing out of there, we've got different things like schedules, automations. You can share this camera with other people. We do that with grandparents because we do use one of these as a baby monitor. So grandparents can spy on the grandbabies. So we do have sharing set up on those cameras. Got device info and then wise support. Okay, now that we have gone through all of the features of this camera right here, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the demo shots. All right, we're testing out the camera right now. So it is a beautiful day outside. And I have noticed on the camera, just listening to the live view, there's kind of a weird pop or a crackle to it. Uh, there's nothing going on outside that would cause that noise. There's no noise going on at all. But I did notice there was a weird kind of crackle at the top. I'm curious if it's going to end up being on the recording here. But this is what it looks like during the daytime. We'll also take a look at what it looks like when it's doing its normal night shot and then also that new colored night vision. So let's take a look at that. Okay. All right, so the sun has gone down. We actually have some rain clouds out here. But this is what it looks like now with no sun. Just give you guys a different perspective. Next, Emmy and I are going to test out night vision. So we have got the night vision turned on right now. You guys can see us right now. It is turned off. Let's go ahead and turn on the color night vision. Also, one thing to mention, pitch black out here. We've got a Christmas tree in that window with some spotlights under the tree behind us. But other than that, it is completely dark out here. This is what the night vision looks like. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the colored night vision. Okay, but this is what the colored night vision looks like with this camera. Completely dark out here. Like I said, we can't see anything. We've got some stuff going on behind us, but as far as in front of us, nothing going on right now. So this is what the colored night vision looks like with this camera. 
So if you do have lights on in the house, or something coming on outside, you're going to be able to see a lot better. In fact, let me turn on the lights in the house, and we'll see what this camera looks like with a little bit of lighting. All right, we now have the, the lights turned on in the house, so this is what it does look like. With some lights turned on in the house, you guys can probably get a better idea of uh, what a normal shot would look like and not be yeah, all right, so audio was not the best with these cameras. If you notice in the clips, there were some times when you couldn't hear me at all or the audio wasn't matching with the video. And I feel like that's something that Wise has always kind of struggled with. But as far as video quality, I thought it was fantastic. Now, something that I am trying to keep in mind in this review is that this is a $20 camera. I keep wanting to compare it to the $200, the $400 cameras that I've been testing out there that are way better than this camera, but I have to keep in mind this is a $20 camera. And something that Wise never advertises is that these are not security cameras. Now they've got all the features of a security camera, but they don't actually claim to be a security camera. If you are looking for a security camera that you want to keep out around your house and something that is going to record things that are happening and monitoring and letting you know and be reliable, you're probably going to want to go more expensive than just these $20 cameras right here. But what I love about these cameras is that they're great for monitoring your house. Now, I have lots of different WISE cameras. I have seven different WISE cams in totals that I've collected over the years because I've been using WISE cams for a long time and I primarily use mine as baby monitors. So I have one in each of the kids' rooms that we use to make sure the kids are sleeping or if they're upstairs playing, that everything is going okay. This is something that you can load up on your Google Chromecast or your Amazon Fire Stick and watch it on the TV if you want to monitor things, see what's going on outside. These things are great for monitoring, but as far as going back and watching clips, I do have a bit of a struggle with that. If you do have continuous recording turned on, trying to go through the menu of scrolling through and scrubbing through the entire 24 seven recording is definitely not the best. I would like to see improvements on that. But overall for a $20 camera, this is a fantastic camera right here. Like I said, I've been using them for years. I recommend them for people who want to just have a little something to monitor things, but they don't wanna go full blown and buy a thousand dollar system. These are a great camera right here. If you guys wanna know more about Wise Cams or any other security type cameras, take a look at the link below to reviews.org. If you guys wanna see anything more from me, check out my channel, Steve Does, where I do a lot of cool tech reviews. If this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, I wanna thank you for joining me here at reviews.org. I'll see you guys in the next video.